Hello again, Tom here from Wheeler Automotive. Today, I'm showing you around one of my all time favorite cars. This one is in absolutely stunning condition. It's a Mercedes Benz uh, C216 or a CL500. This one's in a super rare color. It's called uh, Corn Type Blue. It's a metallic blue, which, um, well, I've never seen one in the flesh in this color before. I think it was a special order paint color. Uh, this one's got the factory AMG body kit on it, including the AMG exhaust. So I had a CL63, same shape as this, same age as well, which had the exact same exhaust system on it. Um, this one, it doesn't really have a mark on the bodywork. Uh, the wheels were a little bit corroded in the clear coat when we got them. So we've just had all four wheels diamond cut. So they are in as new condition. They've come up really well. I'll show you in detail in a minute. Uh, but this car, it's got the 4.7 litre V8 uh, with two turbos bolted to it. It's silky smooth and quiet when you're cruising along. But when you floor it, it, it just sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, such a good engine. And if, you, if you're on the motorway doing 70, you know, it'll return 30 to the gallon, which is just unbelievable for a car this size and this powerful. They've got about 435 brake from memory. Um, so they really, really fly. Uh, this one I, I'd say is pretty much fully loaded. Uh, we've got the radar guided cruise control. It's got the soft closed doors and boot and the powered boot. It's got the night view or night vision assist as they call it. Blind spot assist. It's got the sunroof. Um, yeah, it's, it's just pretty much got everything. Um, I think the only option I've seen that it hasn't got is the ventilated seats. But I think it's got pretty much everything else. The someone paid a hundred thousand pounds for this back in 2011 and yeah what amazing value for money today let's show you up in some detail this fantastic car so <clears throat> no um no scrapes on the the bumper corners there is a couple of tiny little marks and i mean tiny just on the edge of the bottom of the bumper here and i'm pretty confident in saying they're the only marks on the car got Bison on headlights, Auto Bison on headlights. They are crystal clear both sides. It does have LED DRLs there at the bottom there on each side. Same on that side and this bumper corner is perfect. No marks on that one. Lights are perfect as well. Now there, this is um, behind here sits the, the radar for the cruise control. So that's why it doesn't have a normal badge. Bonnet's in excellent shape. No real stone chips or marks in it at all. Obviously it has front and rear parking sensors and a reversing camera as well. Offside front wing I'd say is, is excellent. There's one very small, I would say a car park door doing just on the front of it there. Very minor. And then we've got these absolutely mega 20 inch wheels they've come up really really well very pleased uh, with how they've come up um, they've got uh, the car's got a matching set of continental tires the fronts I think are nearly new because there's just massive tread on them it's difficult to show you on the camera there but uh, yeah the fronts aren't old the front discs have got zero lip the pads are nice and thick hopefully that will focus in on there. Front brakes have got lots of life in them. Driver's door I'd say is pretty much perfect. I can see one little very minor car park door ding there. Otherwise not a mark on it. Same can be said for the rear quarter. Just absolutely superb. All the glass is lovely nice and clear, no scratches on anything. <clears throat> this rear wheel again, 
really pleased with how they've come up made such a difference to it rear discs just the beginnings of a lip on there so loads of life in them still pads are really thick as well hopefully that will focus on there rear tires where's a wear indicator there we go i'd say they're about half worn so lots of life in them see the tread round to the rear both rear lights are crystal clear no water in either of them the tailpipes are lovely and clean as well i've not uh, we've not polished these up this is just as it came to us just in really nice shape um, one thing we did we've had the car service so it has got a full service history of 10 services um, and we have just done the tent service um, and one of the things that uh, we realised needed to be done was the thermostat was playing up so it's got a brand new thermostat from Mercedes fitted as well um, but there's no real marks on the on the boot lid or the bumper as I said the, the boot is uh, is powered it's got my bag in it but yeah it's um all lovely and clean. It's a locking wheel that key. You heard that click there. That is the soft close. It does have reversing camera as well under there. Round to the near side, which uh, I mean, look at it. It's just, it's just perfect. There's no marks on this near side rear quarter. Again, the glass is lovely another as new 20 inch i think the style of these is the amg fours i think that's what they're called but yeah really pleased with how good they are distant pad same as the other side tire the same as the other side passenger door it's perfect both the wing mirrors are perfect i don't know that i pointed out the other side but no uh no marks on them. There is a little, it looks like a car park door ding here, which has been touched in, just on the front of that door. But the, the near side front wing doesn't have a mark on it. And then the last of these wonderful wheels with a nearly new Conti on the front. Distant pads. Same as the other side, you see how thick those pads are. So yeah, externally, I just think they're such a good looking car, especially with the AMG kit on like this one. And inside, it's, <coughs> it's even nicer, if anything. So we've got uh, sort of a two-tone leather interior. We've got black over this beige, um, beige leather. The door cards are perfect. Uh, both front seats are heated and electrically adjustable, obviously. Uh, both front seats have memory settings as well. It does have the Harman Kardon stereo. It does have a Bluetooth adapter for streaming music as well. Um, obviously got sat-nav, etc. in the command system. But this passenger seat, I mean, look at it. Just in really good condition. In the back... I always wonder whether anyone ever sits in these cars in the back because, I mean, look at that. It doesn't look like anyone's really been in there. Got a original set of AMG mats in it as well. Does have the uh, soft closed doors and keyless entry. So they put keys in my pocket. get in and we'll start this wonderful engine up so the driver's door card as well just perfect obviously we've got four electric windows electric mirrors all the same uh, seat controls as the other side this one you can actually control the passenger seat you can push that one and then these controls control the passenger seat um, so yeah we've got auto by zen on headlights obviously it's keyless start so you just push that button that's for the night view, which I can't show you because it will only work when it's dark. The driver's seat's in really good shape. Some very small signs of wear 
on this bolster and that I believe is a bit of biro so we've had one go at it but uh, you've got to be careful with biro that if you if you go too hard at it it will start to soak into the leather so we've given it one pass and I think we'll pretty much be able to get rid of it but let's get in So it starts first time. I doubt you can even hear it on the video because it's so quiet and silky smooth. I'm just going to turn the aircon off for a minute. Um, but yeah, we can show you the mileage. So there we go. So it's done just over 72 and a half thousand miles, which is nothing on one of these, if I'm honest. Um, it does also have the uh, the dynamic seats. So if we go into the seat settings, so we can set the dynamic seat to. So these are where the seat bolsters sort of pump up as, as you go around a corner to keep you held in the seat, um, which is an expensive, uh, expensive option. Obviously we've got radio, CD player, the, me the media interface is where I've got the Bluetooth music streaming thing on at the minute. Um, obviously got Bluetooth for your phone, it does have a DVD player and um, let's turn that down. And it does have uh, free view TV as well. Um, it's got the split view screen. Let's come out of that. Go back to that there. So also got all the vehicle settings that we can change, etc, etc, etc. So there's the split view thing there, we can go in the system and there's all the various settings you can adjust. We've got the phone keypad down here, there's a little bit of wear on top of that, which is pretty normal, just where your sort of hand tends to rest. Um, we've got here, that folds down the rear headrest. This changes it from economy to standard to manual mode. We do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel for changing gear. <coughs> and this on the right here is for the stereo. We've got all of the um, uh, these controls here are for the um, aircon and the climate control. Um, in here, we've got a couple of cup holders. That is what traditionally would have been. Um, an ashtray, but this had the, ash the smoker pack delete, so we've just got a 12 volt charger down in there. So, this car, yeah, almost certain has never been smoked in. Smells great in here, just smells of expensive leather. In there, we've got a six disc DVD changer for watching films on the screen. There, um, we've got an SD card input there if you wanted to put music on that. Now, this does also have the Head, the wireless headphones, I'm going to struggle to get them out with one hand, um, but it's got the original uh, wireless headphones for the passenger and oh, the remote control so that the passenger can control what they're watching. So the driver can, the split view screen is really clever, the driver can have sat nav on and see it from this angle and the passenger can have a DVD on and see it from this angle. Um, yeah, very clever. Um, but yeah, you can see there's no no faults on it. It, it runs really, really well. Um, I absolutely love this car. I'd be sad to see it go. Um, I love the wooden steering wheel. You can see that's this up here is for the cruise control and the radar guided cruise control. This controls the distance from the car in front that it will hold you at. Um, but yeah, everything in here works perfectly. Let's get out. I just it is warm. So I'll just blip it and see, hopefully we can be able to hear that wonderful V8. That sounds so good. Whisper quiet when off throttle, but yeah, there it is, our absolutely stunning 2011 Mercedes CL500.